Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome. Welcome to your channeled message reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're doing well, feeling safe, and feeling blessed because you are. So let's go ahead and get started on your message. Please remember to take what resonates and leave what does not. Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding us. What was that? That was number six. Number six is the cloud. It represents a lack of clarity. So you're either not seeing something clearly or you're starting to see something clearly. But then it, I feel like that would be the magnifying glass. You still lack clarity on something. But let me see if I could, how I can help bring you clarity. Yeah. Like the mountain represents an obstacle. Like you're, something's blocked. Like you're, your viewpoint is blocked, right? So, I mean, really the illustrator of this deck, Gilded Reverie deck, did a fantastic job, just stellar job. Because if you look at the mountain, even the way it's illustrated is from a distance. That's why the mountain looks big, but look, the animals are here. It kind of looks zoomed out a bit. The animals look zoomed out. So it's like all you can see from a distance is a mountain. You can't see what's behind the mountain. Yeah, you can't see what's behind the mountain. Your viewpoint is blocked. And it could be because of several things, but I feel like it's because you're trying to understand something that has not come to pass yet. Like you're trying to pick up on something that is still ahead of you. You're trying to pick up on something that um, hasn't been uncovered or revealed yet. So in this case, you're really using your intuition or your spiritual sight, your spiritual gifts to pick up on what, what lies ahead, what has not come yet, okay? Um, so, and then you're here as the bear, which is beautiful. The bear is represents power and strength. Um, tell us more about this, Holy Spirit. Okay, wow. I, I don't think I've ever seen Jitsuban 1 in the reverse. Okay, uh, gentleman one always reminds me of the King of Cups. Like, just look at him. Soft, sweet, a little bit sensual, you know, romantic, has a rose in his hand. He's relaxed. He's calm. Um, definitely in tuned with his feelings and emotions. He even looks like he's sitting and thinking about something, right? Unlike gentleman two, who looks more passionate, active, right? Assertive. This one is relaxed. But he's in the reverse. So what's going on here? That's like the King of Cups being in the reverse. Um, 24 is the heart. The heart is union and harmony. So could this be someone who, ah, something has ended for this gentleman. That's what you're not seeing. Something is blocked from your viewpoint. So all you can do is use your intuition to see what, what you can't physically see. And maybe it's blocked from your viewpoint because you're not meant to see it, honestly. Sometimes that blockage is God's protection. It's God's way of saying, not yet. But when the time comes, I will remove the mountain. I will remove the blockage. It could be God's way of saying, hold on, let me pave this pathway for you. Hold on, let me remove the obstacles that your adversaries have placed along your path. Hold on, let me remove the wolves in sheep's clothing. Let me remove your enemies to make this journey smooth and easier for you. Sometimes that blockage is just a not yet or something that's not meant to be. Dun, 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 right? Sometimes we want things that aren't good for us and God will block it unless we keep on trying to force it and force it and force it to happen. Then we end, we end up getting hurt. Then we call on God to come and rescue us, right? There's symbolism in this blockage, this mountain here. Your viewpoint is blocked. Even for those of you who are spiritually gifted, you may not even be able to spiritually pick up on what is on the other side of this mountain, what it is that you can't see, because maybe you're not meant to see it. I feel like you're being protected is what I'm trying to say. 
um, someone here is going through an ending and it's gentleman number one. He's in the reverse. So that's like, ooh. Ooh, I'm so sorry, y'all. Sorry, you guys. Excuse me. Um, but gentlemen, you know, gentlemen number one is in the reverse. So that's really like the king of cups being in the reverse. Someone here is very emotionally unbalanced. Okay, someone here could even be like extremely, extremely emotional because they are going through an ending. This is someone who wanted harmony or they wanted a union with you. Let me see here. Mm -hmm. 20 even represents the park. The park could represent some sort of outdoor place or a, a public place where people go or even a social gathering. Like this is somebody here maybe who wanted to marry you. What did they want? Let me ask, what was their intention? Look, number nine is a gift. Mm. Number nine is a gift. So the gift is a gift, right? It could be something that they wanted to give you or something that, that they wanted you to give them. Oops. This gift. Oh, look at me. I messed up the cards. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, it could be something that... Something that they... I'm wondering... What is it that they wanted? Because the heart card, union and harmony, that's a partnership card. Reminds me of the two of cups. But let me see here with this gift and then 20. What is it that they wanted? The devil. Yeah. Something that they really desired. Like the lovers is even here. A choice. The lovers, the devil, obsession, strong desire. But that's over. The world is a successful completion. What is this park? Hmm, two of swords. What is this park here? Like, it feels like they wanted you to choose them. Because the lovers is a choice. But... I don't feel like it would have been a healthy partnership because look at the devil here. This person had too much of a strong desire for maybe this connection or this partnership. Like this could have been a romantic partnership, platonic partnership, a work partnership, you know, a business partnership. Take it how it resonates. These readings are not love exclusive. It's going to resonate with everyone in a different way. But it's someone who really wanted a partnership with you. But that has come to an end. Number eight is uh, the coffin. Hmm. And then 20 is even here. Like I'm trying to understand, okay, the sun card is here. They wanted you to choose them, right? It's a situation where you did have a choice. Because even here, the seven of cups is options or having different offers. And they wanted you to choose them. What is this outdoor place here? 20 Park. Eight of Swords. That's the thing. You don't know about what this... You don't know what this outdoor place is. Like, you're in the unknown. Eight of Swords, Three of Swords, Nine of Swords. You're in the Swords. You've been trying to figure out something, but it's not coming to you clearly. It feels like God is trying to block your view to protect you from something that's not meant to be. Because the Eight of Swords is a mental imprisonment. The Three of Swords is a separation, disappointment. The Nine of Swords is... Um, I 
being in distress. What is this park? It could be, if it's romantic, it could be a wedding that they wanted with you. You know, clarify 20. Like someone who really wanted the relationship to work so that it could progress into marriage. For those of you where it's romantic, for those of you where it's not romantic, and let's say it's like career finance, this park here is a place that makes a lot of money. Like 34 is the fish. The fish is all about abundance and resources. The fish, um, abundance, resources, the fish card could also be um, a card of like trade and commerce. Like whatever this place is that makes a lot of money like this, it's connected to different industries, like more than one industry or more than one trade. It looks like some sort of public place that people go to if it's career or finance related. If it's romance related, it could be that they wanted this connection to progress into um, marriage. Like the park could be, it could even represent social gathering celebrations, you know? But I just don't feel like that's what it is though. I just don't, because then the ring card would have showed up. Engagements, proposals, joint ventures, you know? It could be. Take it how it resonates. It could be a romantic interest who is really hoping that you would choose them, that things would work out and lead to marriage. If it's career and finance, okay, it could be someone uh, who is hoping to get into some sort of workmanship or, uh, you know, business partnership with you. Um, and this is revolving a place that makes that really produces a lot of money with, with 34, the fish card here. Um, Holy Spirit, tell us more about, oh, that's what it is. Yes. Number 10 is the sword or the scythe. It's a sharp, dangerous tool that people use in farming, but it always reminds me of the ace of swords, which is a big, the sword is, the sword stands for the truth and clarity. Yes. It's some sort of place that makes a lot of money, Like, but there's different trades to this place. It's not just one particular trade or one particular industry. Um, he was really hoping, I mean, truly, like it was his his desire, like he was, it was his dream manifesting this with you. But let me see, why wasn't it meant to be? Because it has ended, number eight. Why wasn't it meant to be? 44 is the magnifying glass. Ah, because this person's a snake. You know, it doesn't mean that this person is evil or wicked. But the heart, the heart can be very deceiving, you guys. You know, it could be that this person carries too much of a strong desire where they could end up betraying you to get what they want. It could be that this person has um, ambitions, right? And goals that they want to achieve. But their approach to achieving these goals may be harmful to others, like taking advantage of others, exploiting others. Like their heart isn't pure. Their heart is not pure. It's not genuine. Um, that's what spirit is protect. Yeah, look, this person would cause you a loss. Wow, thank you, Holy Spirit. I literally asked, like, why did it end? And I think that's what Spirit wanted us. I think that's what the Holy Spirit wants to reveal to you, why this connection isn't going to come together. Because the magnifying glass, the Holy Spirit is saying, let's take a closer look at this. Right? What you need to see with the magnifying glass is this person's a snake. You wouldn't be able to see that just by looking at them or even encountering them. Right? You don't know the heart of people. You don't, but God knows the heart of man. He does, and he can see more than what we can see. He knows people's heart. He knows their true intentions, and that's what he's protecting you from. You know, as wonderful as this man may have a wonderful personality, uh, the, his character, there's something there with his character that would end up betraying you eventually, maybe even in the future, 
And that is what God is trying to protect you from. Okay. Um, so whether this is a romantic interest, a lover that you dealt with, a friend, you know, some sort of work, career, finance, partnership, you're being protected from something here. What the Holy Spirit wants you to know is you would take a loss. Number 27 is the letter. The letter is all about, uh, it could be an actual letter document, you know, but it's a message card. It's a letter to you. It's a message to you. The Holy Spirit is saying that this person would cause you a loss in some way, shape, or form. It would be a brutal loss. God is trying to protect your heart. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it is. The owl is wise communication, wise guidance. That's what the Holy Spirit's trying to tell us. You're being guided away from any person, place, or thing that would damage your heart. Y'all, I've seen people go through extreme heartbreak that changes them forever. It can turn a person broken, empty, and void. And when you get to that point, it's very easy to lose faith. It's very easy to lose hope. It's very easy to lose yourself. And it will be very hard getting back to that place that you were once at. God is trying to protect you from that by guarding your heart for you. Wise guidance, wise counsel, wise communication, the owl. Owls represent wisdom. And so, wow. Tell us more about this message, Holy Spirit. What more can we know? 18 is the dog. The dog is all about loyalty and support. 27. You might have to do something by yourself, right? Because now you don't really have a partner or... The thing is, I feel like you have options though or different offers. Like this person wanted you to choose them, right? But it just feels like maybe they weren't able to make contact with you or things weren't, weren't able to move forward. Something like that. It was blocked in some way, shape, or form. There wasn't any progression here, any forward movement here. And that was for a very important reason. You are being protected. Okay. Now, 18 is showing up. The dog. There is a much better person. Oh, that's who it is. So you, it's a situation where you have options. Whether it's options in love, options in friendships, option um, in work, career, finance, business, you have options. The person, this King of Cups, this gentleman, want in the reverse. He wanted you to choose his cup, but he is a snake. The better option, the better option is someone here who's showing up as the dog. That's what the message is. The Holy Spirit is guiding you to another person, another path, another person, place, or thing who's being represented by the dog. This individual showing up at being represented by the dog, the dog is loyalty and support. This person will have your back. Like they don't have ulterior motives. And what I'm seeing about this individual they are very content. Like this, this is not somebody who's greedy. This is not somebody who's greedy or have too much of a strong desire. They're very content. And this is someone who has an honorable character. Show us who this person is. There's a much better option and it makes perfect sense. We are free will children of God. If you truly believe you're a child of God, you will never believe that you are stuck or restricted or limited or forced to do something or choose someone that you don't want. You will always have options. You will. So never allow the enemy to make you feel like you have to take one path or you have to choose one person or you have to take one, you know, you're not restricted or bound. You're not limited. 
clarify 18. Clarify 18. 18 is the dog. Two of swords. Clarify 18. Who is this person? Ace of wands. And they're very patient. Clarify 18. This is someone who... Is this a situation where like you have to choose, like you'll be selecting other offers, like you'll you'll be selecting who you want, what you want, something like that, and there's like multiple candidates, or maybe you're one of the candidates and you're the one who's gonna be chosen. You're either the one making the select, you're either the one doing the choosing or you're the one being chosen. amongst the other candidates is the word that I'm going to use here. This candidate who's showing up as this beautiful puppy here, you know, they, it's almost like a golden retriever, right? They have, they really have, golden retrievers are known to be extremely loyal and supportive. Um, this individual is trying to be patient. As much as they are passionate with the Ace of Wands, as much as they're passionate and, 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 you know, determined and ambitious, you know, as much as they have those desires to be chosen, they're trying to discipline themselves. When you see them here like this, Two of Swords, it's almost like, it's almost like you get the lottery or something and, and you're like, no, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to check the results today. I'm going to wait. Like, <laughs> you know, like as much as this person is um, so excited, this Ace of Wands is the, the, the spark. It's the passion. It's, just, it's, it's a, it's the beginning of a new, it's a start of a new beginning, a passionate new beginning. They're not they're disciplining themselves. They're keeping their urges to themselves. Like they're remaining, look, two swords. They're blindfolded, arms crossed. They're trying to force themselves to wait until maybe the results can come out or until they get some sort of news or letter. They're not cheating. They're not being scandalous. You know, they're not trying to exploit or compete in a nasty way to ensure that they win. Like somebody here has morals. Somebody here has morals and integrity. It looks like this person to kind of keep, they're trying to keep their mind off of this, right? They don't want to be, um, they're trying to keep their mind off of this. They don't want to be too anxious. So it could be that they're spending time with their family and friends just to get their mind off of this. It feels like it's something where like the results are about to come out or something. <laughs> That's how it feels. I don't know what this, what the setting specifically is. Um, this person is so cute, so adorable. Um, who is this individual? Let me see if we can get their, the moon. No, they're not being revealed yet. Ah, wait, I don't think they're being revealed yet. Who's this queen of wands? Eight of cups. No, I feel like this is you. I feel like this is you. Because there's one, because the main character here wants to see something that is blocked from them for now. Patience is, is the key. There's so much that you can't see about this right now. And again, it could, it's for a specific reason. Just let it be a surprise. You're showing up as a queen of wands because like sometimes when people are in that king and queen of wands energy, they desire something too much and they're trying to take too much action to get what they want sometimes. Just kind of relax, right? The moon, it's you, you won't know who this, this um, individual is who's showing up with this puppy here, this dog card here. You won't know, at least not now. So for now, Spirit is saying, let it go with the Eight of Cups. <laughs> let it go. Wow. 
until everything gets revealed. Yep, justice, and it will. Everything is in its place. Everything is in order. Everything is in its place. Everything is in order. And very soon, there will be forward movement, the chariot. Forward movement. God is handling everything for you. He's making this easy. So that when you get to this place, you won't have any difficulties when it comes to choosing. It's almost like God is eliminating the wolves in sheep's clothing, the false people, so that by the time you get, get to this place to make the decision, it'll be too easy. And the one who you're meant to choose, oh, they will shine. There's a glow, there's a light shining on this person. So when you meet them or when you encounter them, you'll feel it. Oh, you'll feel it. It's almost like they're glowing. Like sparkling is what I see. Hmm. Six of Wands. <laughs> the reason why you keep on winning the battles that the enemy wants to put you in is because you, you keep on allowing God to fight your battles. And really, that's what we are encouraged to do. Let him fight, fight your battles because he can do things that we cannot do. He can do what we are not able to do. The enemy wants to put you in a situation where you end up choosing the wrong person. God is like, no way. But what you have to do is be patient. Kind of like when scripture says, wait on the Lord, right? What you have to do is brace yourself and be patient. Give him time to fight your battle. Instead of you jumping in at yourself and trying to do it. Because I'm telling you, it's, it's some sort of conflict here that the, that the enemy wants to put you in. It's a battle that he wants to start with you where you end up choosing the wrong person. That causes you a loss. Most likely causes you to, to lose something valuable, to lose your blessing here. And God is like, no, it's not going to work. Because all of these false people who the enemy is trying to trick you to choose, God is, uh, is un, uh, unrooting them. God is eliminating them out of the competition so that they wouldn't even be an option for you. So that when you do get to that point where you have to make a decision, they wouldn't even be an option. They wouldn't be in one of the, you know, <laughs> one of the offers. No, he's making this very easy. The, the reason why you continue to win these battles, these spiritual battles is because you continue to, to, let God fight your battles as you just wait. Just sit and wait patiently and faithfully. And then when the time is right, he's going to open that door. He's going to remove this mountain. He's going to reveal what you need to know. There's a king of wands here. King of Wands and Temperance. This could very well be your energy because you showed up as a Queen of Wands earlier. King of Wands. Or is this someone else? Dun, dun, dun. Let me see here. King of Wands, Holy Spirit. Hmm. 
Hmm. There's another, okay. Clarify the King of Wands. Let's do this. Oops, mixed up the deck. Okay. Clarify the King of Wands. Coffin. Yeah, there's a King of Wands here. Mm -hmm. This is one of the people who wanted you to choose them. One of the candidates, right? One of the suitors. King of Wands would be gentleman number two in the Gilded Reverie deck. He's depicted to have a lot of, like, he's fierce. You see the passion and desire all over him. He's ambitious, adventurous, fun, exciting, thrilling. You can't get bored with the King of Wands. But sometimes they come with trouble. Sometimes they like to fight and battle and compete too much to get what they want. So they're, they, they come with a whole lot of drama because of their, their approach, the way they go about things. Um, this King of Wands here is very disappointed because he was hoping, I'm saying he because the king, but you guys know that we all carry both masculine and feminine energies. So just take the message how it resonates. This could be a woman in her masculine energy. But the King of Wands is very disappointed because he was hoping that he could kind of build some sort of special right? Build some sort of special connection with you that would help him get what he wants, that would help him get chosen by you. It, this is some sort of a suitor. It could be a romantic suitor or it can be a candidate who wants you to choose them. And they were hoping to get to you first before the other candidates or before the other suitors. OK, they were hoping to get to you first before the other the other people so that they can form some sort of, you know, connect with you one on one, eye to eye. You know, you you kind of get a vibe of them. You feel them out. They feel you you out. And then you, you feel, you know, you recognize them. They're special. You favor them amongst the others. I keep on feeling this this like I feel it where he wanted to reach you first. So this could be somebody who tried to contact you or connect with you in some way, shape, or form, but that blockage was there. He, he felt, okay, this man is very funny. This man or woman is very funny because they are very attractive. They are very attractive. And they were hoping that that's what would cause you to to choose them in a way like <laughs> you know I've seen these things happen where attractive people it's hard to forget them you remember them right because you look at their face you remember how they look he has a wonderful personality he's very fun he's very exciting he's very adventurous both of these people have wonderful personalities both of them do but it's their character and it's their character that's being judged upon not their personality, not their good looks. It's their character, y'all. And if this is a career finance situation, it's their skills and qualifications. This one here was really hoping that you would be in awe of his or her's looks. I see him or her trying to reach out to you first before the other people could in hopes to kind of, you know, what is it like uh, <laughs> get some sort of special moment with you so that they could stay on your mind, but that didn't work. Okay. He's having like the temperance is here, peace and harmony. He's, he has no choice. And you know, the King of Wands is all about action. Like this person actually took action towards you, hoping to encounter you in some way, shape or form, but they were blocked. He has no choice, he or she has no choice, but to just temperance, calm down a little bit and be patient. And patient, the King of Wands doesn't even know what patience is. He doesn't know that what that word is. He doesn't recognize that word. King of Wands is about action. When he wants something, he gets up and he goes and gets it.
Wow. He can't do that. He has to learn patience, you know, and the Ten of Wands, it's killing him. Like Ten of Wands is, he's stressed. The Ten of Wands is burdens and stress. He's stressed. And even here with the Hermit, even here with the Hermit, you see, he could even be trying to check the results or something. Like there's something that he's checking. Like this man doesn't know how to wait, you know, this man or woman. But, you know, the, the Hermit is rest. And it's healing. It's recovery. It's rest, healing, and recovery. That's what he's being called to do, but he just doesn't know. I think it's just he's fiery. It's just in his personality, you know? He's very fiery. Um, what you should know about this King of Wands. Oh boy, not a good candidate. 32. Not a, not a good candidate. 32 or suitor. 32 is the moon. You see, he's the fox. The fox is a trickster and deceiver. The truth is, as good looking as this man or woman is, that's how he gets what he wants. He doesn't really have the qualifications. As, and, and even if he does have qualifications, he probably cheated. There's elements of corruption to corruption that I pick up from this individual's energy. So even if they have the qualifications like, you know, to show you, they probably cheated to get it. They don't really have the skills and the, they don't have the skills and the talent. Okay. If this is a career finance situation, they're not really qualified despite the qualifications that they may show you. If this is a lover, this is somebody who is extremely fine. Like this person is very good looking superficially on the outside. Okay. On the outside, they are very good looking. Um, but that's just, you know, to sort of blind you from seeing, like this could be someone who's very beautiful on the outside, but on the inside, they're ugly. Like if this is a romantic situation, a romantic suitor, this is like a, a, a handsome devil or a beautiful devil, very attractive on the outside, but on the inside, what you don't see, the moon represents what's hidden, what you can't see. What you can't see is that this person has much character flaws. They are not, they, they don't, they're not honorable. They don't have a good character. The fox will trick and deceive you so fast. You won't even see it. You won't even know that you're being tricked and deceived. But he or she knows how to come off as very polished and well put together. Wow. You see, these are all the things that you don't see. That's the message from the Holy Spirit. That's the message from the Holy Spirit, that you, these are all the things that you wouldn't be able to see. And so God is saying, just sit back, relax, have faith and let me, let me be the one to choose for you. I, I believe that's what God is trying to do. And when we allow him to do that, we avoid errors because if we're the ones doing the choosing, we're bound to make mistakes, human error. Because our view, our perspective is limited. We can only see what people present to us. And even for those of us who are spiritual and intuitive, we can only see so much. I feel like all in all, it's a situation where God is telling one of his children, sit back, let me do the work. Let me do the choosing. You just be patient, be prayerful, be faithful. Let me do the hard part for you. Isn't that a blessing? You're dodging many bullets by you allowing God to do the work for you. You're avoiding a lot of problems and obstacles and you're conquering a whole lot of battles that you didn't even fight. A lot of battles that the enemy wants to put you in. You're winning, you're being victorious and you're not even fighting the battle. You've put God at the forefront of your battles to fight. This is not a matter of thinking hard. This is a matter of thinking wisely. 
Instead of you fighting the battle yourself, you're allowing God to fight it for you. That's like, think smart, not hard. And so everything's going to be super duper easy for you. Super duper easy. And so... Look at this. Man, I keep on forgetting the... <laughs> I keep on forgetting to cover her up. So we have um, lady number two. Anchor. There is a woman here that you should choose. Clarify lady number two. I wonder if that's what it is. I take that back. Let me get confirmation first. Yes, that's that's her. That's her. That's the message. So it looks like... It looks like... Okay, you, we weren't able to see... It looks like there's a woman. For some of you, it's someone who energetically is represented by the dog. They're very loyal and supportive. That's the individual who you should choose. And when you see this person, oh my gosh, you'll feel that warmth and comfort from them, but there, something about them glows. Something about them glows, like they shine. And then for others of you, it's a woman. She could be an older woman. This woman looks like she has um, maybe gray hair or or it's it's almost like it's maybe it's even turning to silver or white. It could be that she has dark colored hair and half and it's 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 turning lighter, like gray or silver. She has color hair, but she's at that age where it's this beautiful gray. Okay, or silver. Very beautiful hair that I see. The thing with her is she's quiet though. She's so quiet that like, it's almost like you could hear a pin drop in a room. Like when a room is so quiet that you could hear a pin drop. She's quiet, but this woman is extremely observant. My gosh, she's like a like a hawk, like a like an eagle eye in a way. She is very analytical. And this one here will secure you. 35. The anchor is all about stability and security. She is very wise and extremely ex uh, experienced, but she I don't feel like this woman is very talkative though. And that's okay. People who talk too much, <laughs> let me stop. But people who talk too much don't pay attention. They're too busy talking. That's what I was trying to say. If you talk too much, you'll miss a lot of things. But this one here will be your anchor. That's powerful. That's a powerful representation. What else can we know about this woman? Lady number two. Yep, it's her. The key. So it feels like for, for, for some of you, you're connected to two situations where you have to choose. You have to do the choosing. You're being called to choose. For one situation, you're being called to choose someone who's being represented by uh, the dog. They're loyal and supportive. Honorable character. Will not betray you or disappoint you. For the other situation, you're being called to choose a woman here, a mature woman, extremely wise and, and, exper and exper I can't even talk, experienced. There's something with her hair. I believe that her hair is turning gray. It's a beautiful gray. And for some, maybe even it's silver. Okay, so for some of you, you're connected to two situations and you're having to do the choosing. For others of you, these are two situations and you're only connected to one. So choose the one that you resonate with. But all in all, the main character here has to do the choosing. And God is helping them do the choosing. She's showing up as the key. The key is a discovery or solution. 
This woman is so intelligent. Anything that's complex, complicated, she'll have the solution for it. Wow. Yeah, again, the message. This is her. Luck. It could be that God is even trying to, to help some of you to choose good partners or a good team of people. To collaborate with in some way, shape, or form. Number two, Clover. Luck and happiness. Okay. Number one is the messenger card. Number 19 is the... Number 19 is the um, tower. The tower is like, it could be an actual tower. Like a large building, maybe high up. But it could also represent institutions, governments, organizations, corporations. Mm -hmm. Number 22 represents a choice. Yeah, you see, so is it a situation where like you have different, like several job offers and you get to choose, you have to choose one? Or is it a situation where you get to choose the institution, company, corporation that you'll be working with? Hmm. Yes, that's it. The compass. Bingo. Bingo. 42 is the compass. 42 is the compass, guidance and directions. It's a situation where you'll have to choose people to collaborate with you, okay? People from different companies, institutions, something like that, organizations to collaborate with you or partner up with you. Yep, that's the message. One second, you guys. Yeah, to collaborate with you. That's what it is. That's what it is. Mm. Mm-hmm. But someone here, look, 14 is like the fox trickery. Someone was just like hoping to get ahead of the other candidates and get you to choose them. You know, like someone here, yeah. King of Wands. I feel like it's the the this King of Wands. I mean, King of Wands. Yes, I feel like it's a King of Wands. He's showing up in the Gilded Reverie as gentleman number two. Fierce and passionate, attractive, handsome, right? I feel like it was a King of Wands type and a King of Cups type. Or King of Wands or, because some of you, it's two different situations. You're only connected to one. For others of you, it's two different situations and you're connected to both. Does that make sense, y'all? But it's a situation where you get to choose different suitors, partners, candidates, and the King of Wands-like energy, gentleman number two, is trying to cheat ahead, form some sort of bond with you so you can choose them. Then for others of you, it was a King of Cups, gentleman number one, who tried to get ahead, connect with you, get you to like them first, so that you can choose them. Yeah. Please, thank you for guiding us. Yes. Wow, I just said, Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding us. 31, the sun came out. That's light. And that's what God will continue to do. Illuminate your path. Illuminate you so that you can see the truth. The light is here. There's no darkness where things are hidden. The light is illumination. Things being brought to light for you to see. The sun is growth, expansion, progression, and prosperity. Many of you, these are new projects. These are new opportunities. And if you 
partner up with the wrong people, you will be sabotaged. Your new beginning will end prematurely. A premature death to your new beginning. And I believe that's what the enemy is trying to do. That's the battle. That's the fight that the enemy wants to start with you. It's not going to happen because God is standing right there. You have positioned God right there at the forefront of your life. So before you see anything, he sees it. In order for anyone to even encounter you, they have to go through God first. And if God disapproves, they don't get access to you. I'm telling you, many of you were blocked and it was God himself doing it. In order for anyone to do anything to you, even if it's good or bad, they have to get through through God first. They have to get to God first before they can get to you. And it's all because of your close bond and relationship with God. And it's all because of your willingness to have faith and trust in him. You trust him to lead you. You're not trying to lead yourself. You're not straying away from him either, which you don't want to do. In order for any person, place, or thing to get to you, they have to get to God. They have to go through to God to get to you. And that's powerful because that's how the wrong people will get filtered out. God's clearing the pathway for you, truly. These are new beginnings that he has for you. And the enemy wants to partner you up with false people, the wrong people to mess you up. Some of these people aren't bad, like King of Wands, King of Cups. They're not bad. They have desires, they have goals and dreams just like you and I. But if their heart isn't in the right place, right? And if they're lying about something, if they're not, like if this is something where you have to choose someone to do work for you, maybe you're choosing someone to do a job or work for you. And let's say this person isn't even qualified. They're not really skilled and you choose them. You're wasting your money. They won't be able to do the job right. This is, this is serious here. You want the right people, the right partner, the right team. Yes. Hmm. House number four is the house. 26. The book, I call it the book of knowledge. For some of you, this is romance. You may have, you'll always have offers. You'll always have options in life. There's 7 billion plus people in this world, but you want the one who God has chosen for you, ordained for you, so that they'll, they will be able to love you in all of the right ways and give you what you deserve. Number four, some of you, you are this candidate who's going to be chosen. You are the suitor who's going to be chosen. And for others of you, you're the one on the other side doing the choosing. Many of you are about to partner up with some really good lovers. Many of you have a new beginning in love with a person who, uh, a person who has an honorable character, who will not cheat, lie, betray you, manipulate you, deceive you. Many of you have new beginnings when it comes to career and finances. Yes, and it's going to be with the right people. Let me see. Number four. Number four is the, is the house. 26 is the book. Yeah, there's something here about your home. Your home life, where you live, your residence. Something that God was telling you. Something that the Holy Spirit was revealing to you or urging you to kind of look into. Yes. It could be that, let me see. Something about your home. There's something that you were led to, to see. A revelation. Please don't question it. Because the Holy Spirit is saying, yes, you understand what you were told or what was revealed to you. 20 is the book of knowledge. You have the right, accurate, correct understanding of something here going on in your, your, your home life or your residence, your, your environment where you live. The Holy Spirit has been urging you. Please don't question what the Holy Spirit tells you. Some of you are so spiritually gifted, like your, your spiritual gifts have been enhanced 
where you can feel what the Holy Spirit is telling you, or you can hear, or you can even see. Like your spiritual sight, your spiritual gifts are being heightened or have been heightened. It has to do with your living, where you live is what I'm hearing. The Holy Spirit is saying, yes, you, you receive that revelation correctly. Don't question it. If, you, if the Holy Spirit is telling you something isn't right or someone's doing something, yeah, toil and labor. It could be, toil and labor is like hard work, monotonous work. Many times it's like minimum, minimum wage work. You see these little girls, you know, working at the back of a factory. The work condition isn't good. They're probably not even getting paid well. I don't know if it's like uh, something with staff or do you have staff around you where you live or employees around you where you live? Let me see. Look, bad health. Bad health. I don't think, I feel like Spirit's saying, don't, don't get too close to these people here. Okay, don't get too close to these people here. They will bring you bad news. Okay, if it's a situation where these are employees or staff, you, you shouldn't be bonding with them anyways, right? There has to be some sort of boundaries. These, these people are there to, to do their work, to do work or to assist you in some way. Don't get too personal. Um, but I'm trying to understand what this is. Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding us. Bad help, yeah. They they will bring you bad news. They will pitch you in bad situations. Don't get too friendly is how this message is feeling. Toil and labor. Change. That's what thief. It could even be like, do you have like, um, what do people call like a house, like house helpers? Do you have house helpers? Do you have staff around you where you live or something like that? Because it could be saying, mm -mm. like, if you were the one who chose them, change them, get better people. Because change and thief is here. Look, message of concern. They are underhanded. It, it doesn't mean maybe they are stealing, but it, the thief doesn't necessarily mean that they're stealing, right? It could just be that they're underhanded. They're doing something underhanded here. Message of concern. That's what you need to know. It's the people or someone in your living environment. Maybe you have house helpers. Maybe you live at a residence where there are employees or staff. Do they bring bad news? Don't get too close to them. Don't make this personal. But, and if you're the one who chose them, you need to reevaluate them and bring in better people. Expectation. Expectation, main mail. Let me see. Expectation, main mail. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. What's this? Expectation, main mail. Occupation. Hmm. Expectation main mail. Bear with me all. Something, yeah, okay, because that message card almost came out. I'm not sure if y'all saw it in the frame, but there's a message card in this Kipper deck and it came out almost. I'm going to recognize it. I'm going to recognize it because um, with main mail, it's a man. Some, it's like someone in their masculine energy and their occupation. Is it a worker? Is this the troublemaker here? Because occupation is here. Yeah, it is. Pathway and house. He's the problem. He is the problem. It's a man. 
The others could be problems, but it starts with him. Maybe he's the ringleader. Maybe it's just one staff that's a problem, one staff member. Or maybe this is the ringleader here. I don't know. Okay? But there's something about your living, like your, your house is fine. Your living is fine. Your living environment is fine. But it's the people there with you. These are the people who are supposed to assist you in some way, is what the Holy Spirit just told me. And it could be one or more of them, but it's being pinpointed to a main male. And you know how, you know, I'm going to help you understand this because the others toil and labor, right? The others, like these are the lower staff, the lower level staffs. This one here, because they're showing up as toil and labor. This main male here is showing up as occupation. He has a higher role than they do. He's the problem. You're being led to him, to pinpoint it on him. The house card is here. This is for someone specific. The house, again, the house showed up in the Kipper deck. Okay, boom. 35 is pathway, right? Your path, the path is being illuminated to him because things are kind of hazy for you. But Holy Spirit is saying, trust your gut and what you were told. You know something's going on. Even if the people around you are playing stupid, you have the knowledge, the book of knowledge. And then confirmation, the letter card. You heard correctly and accurately what the Holy Spirit has told you. Um, these people here, the, the lower staff, toil and labor, bad health and lovers. Change. It's being pinpointed to this main male. He's the troublemaker here. He could be the ringleader here. Let me see. He has a higher position than they do. You would probably see him in a nice outfit or something, suit and tie. He's a problem. Yeah, he's an official person. He either wears a uniform or a suit and tie, but he has a higher position than the other staff, okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Poverty. He wants to cause you to lose. I just heard that directly. He, you know, I can't make this up. I heard it from my right ear, like something, like I literally felt it in my right ear. Um, he wants you to, he wants to cause you a loss. Poverty and you have great fortune or you have great fortune coming towards you. He wants to cause you a loss. You're going to become, he sees you as privileged. He sees you as privileged, like a privileged lady or a privileged man. He's a problem. Mature woman. He is a big problem here. Distant horizons. Main male. Tell us about this main male. Journey in the reverse. Yeah, his journey ends here. Because you're probably going to say or do something about this person. The journey's in the reverse. It, it ends here for him. I feel like he doesn't want any forward movement for, for you. I don't know if he's jealous of you or what. Thoughts. He doesn't want any forward movement for you. Thoughts and imprisonment is here. Imprisonment is like you being stuck, bound, restricted. Yeah, he doesn't want any forward movement for you. I don't know what this person has against you, but you have the upper hand here because they're supposed to be working with you, collaborating with you, in some, assisting you in some way, shape, or form. Message. I don't know what this man's problem is. Message, mature man. Privileged lady despair. There's a mature man connected to this. He could be the one. Yeah, he's some sort of, um, he's... He has some sort of executive role or position. He 
has some sort of executive role or position in the situation, like a higher up. Adjudication, it reminds me of the higher font, someone who is in some sort of powerful or influential position or role and the decision that they make it it affects the other people he's at the top of some sort of hierarchy right so this is an executive i don't know the owner ceo vp manager director let me see here mature man king of swords clear for mature man the Empress, clarify mature man. Yeah, that's his wife. Tower. The Emperor. He knows that you're you're showing up as a privileged lady or privileged gentleman. Despair. He knows that you're not happy with something here. You're not happy with how something's being coordinated, something. This is for someone specific. He has a professional connection to you. It's not someone who you personally know. He's in some sort of executive role or position. With the Empress, this could be his wife or this could be you. Let me see. You're not happy. He knows you're not satisfied. He knows, let me see here. Okay, but who's this Empress? Oops. Who's this Empress? Ten of Swords. Who's this Empress? The High Priestess. I think this is you. Who's this Empress? Five of Swords. Okay, let me ask this. Yes or no? Is the Empress the main person here? Death. Is the Empress? I'm getting a bit confused. Because Mature Man is the Emperor. The Mature Man is the Emperor. The Empress is the Mature Woman. I feel like this is his wife, mature man. I feel like this is his wife. Oops. Is this his wife, yes or no? Mature man, is the empress his wife? Mature man, is the empress his wife? Everything is fine. I feel like this is his partner. This is his suitor. It's not you. Um, so I know sometimes you can also be an empress or an emperor. Um, the tower is a dramatic ending or a dramatic reveal. The emperor is here. His partner is showing up as the High Priestess and the Ten of Swords. His partner, the Empress, is very intuitive. Five of Swords is defeat. Five of Swords is defeat. The main female imprisonment and thoughts, or sorry, the death, five of swords, and five of cups. Someone here is done. Like someone here. Tell us about this emperor. Someone here, the fool, taking a leap of faith into a new beginning. Clarify the fool. The five of wands. Someone here is over it. Like... I don't know what this is. Something was brewing at first, y'all. You're the one who's going to put, you're the one who's going to close the coffin on this. You're the one who's going to seal the deal. Whatever your intuition, whatever the Holy Spirit has been telling you about something about a home or a family situation, because that house could be a family unit as well. The house card that initially came out could represent your family or your home. And it has to do with the, 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 like, the people that's why i'm like do you have house helpers or staff other things were brewing at first then you're the one who's gonna hit 
you know, hit the nail. What is it? <laughs> hit the nail on the head. You're the one who is just going to... You're getting your way. Six of Cups is a reconciliation. And the strength is overcoming difficulties. You're going to get your way in this. You're That's what I'm saying. You have the upper hand. Because something was already brewing. Like this emperor and empress... Okay, who are connected to this, they already had some sort of inner knowing at first. Like his wife, the Empress, is very um, she's showing up as the high priestess. This woman is very intuitive, and she felt like they were getting betrayed. Ten of Swords. But there was no way to prove it, to do anything about it, to get rid of these people or this person. It could be several staff members, or it could just be one. The main one is main male. He, he doesn't want any growth or prosperity. He could be someone who's getting paid to sabotage something. Holy Spirit, tell us about this main male. Boom, page of wands. It's a, it's some sort of, uh, is it like a rival or competitor? Main male. He's being paid, again, the wand. He's being paid to cause trouble in some way to rival, to, to um, y'all know what I mean. This man's a traitor. He's being paid by a competitor or a rival to sabotage this house, home, building, residence, establishment. Yeah. That's what it is. The wife, the empress... Yeah, he gets, and they're paying him a lot of money. King of Pentacles. Oh, <laughs> I'm about to snitch on somebody. They're paying him a lot of money. Or it could be a King of Pentacles who's paying him to do this. King of Pentacles could be a business owner, entrepreneur, investor. There's some, like, it, it was brewing at the surface. You're bringing it to the surface. You're, you're hitting the nail on the head. <laughs> I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit has been guiding you to like revealing something to you. And the Holy Spirit is confirming, yes, what you picked up on is accurate. It has to do with a house. So maybe it's a family situation or your residence, something like that. Where there's like lower, lower level staff. This one here could be have a higher position because he showed up as main male occupation. He is, there's funny business here. There's funny business with this man. And I strongly believe he's getting paid by some sort of outsider, rival, competitor, who is a king of pentacles. His wife. His wife is so sharp spiritually, but they didn't have proof of this, you know, and so they didn't want to say or do something and. You know, they didn't have proof, but she is the high priestess and the Ten of Swords. She knew that they were getting betrayed or backstabbed. She knew by this man, but there was no proof. He hides his hands very well. You're going to, this man will go. He has to go. The journey came out in the reverse and then the death, yeah, it's, it's over for him. Someone new will step in and replace him and this is going to be reconciled. It's going to be reconciled with you. You're the confirmation that this mature man and empress needed. You're showing up as despair. I think it's because you're showing up as the privileged lady or privileged gentleman in despair because you're not happy. You're not satisfied with something like that. Holy Spirit keeps on urging you, like telling you something. Listen to it. Listen to the message. Please don't question it. Don't let anybody gaslight you either. What you know is what you know. Mm -hmm. You're the confirmation. You didn't even realize that you're the confirmation that another person needed, the emperor and his wife, mature man, mature woman needed. She Didn't she show up? Or, yeah, she even showed up as a mature woman. Uh-huh, uh-huh. She showed up as a mature woman in Distant Horizon. Distant Horizon is your, your deepest thoughts, your yearnings, your imaginations. 
This woman knows she has a deep inner knowing and she wanted to put an end to his journey a long time ago. She wanted to dismiss him a long time ago, but she just needed that, that confirmation, you know, and boom, you were the one who brought it. Whatever you sense, they did too. See how God works? Yeah, whatever you sense, not at Pentacles, you must be, you're successful. You're showing up as the, look, you keep on showing up as like a privileged lady, privileged gentleman. You're very rich in the spirit. So I wouldn't be shocked if you're rich physically. And if you're not yet, that's what's coming towards you. Literally great fortune. Literally great fortune. But you're showing as a knight of pentacles. You have blessings and abundance all around you. You work very hard and may you continue to reap what you sow. And because of that, you get jealous eyes on you. But that, that's okay. That's okay. That's their business. You're protected. Whoever thought they could stop you or didn't want you to keep on prospering also did not want this mature man and his wife, the Empress, to keep on prospering. There's someone here who has a nasty spirit of jealousy but everything is fine. They did not get, get a chance to sabotage you and they will not get a chance to sabotage this emperor and empress because you have brought this emperor and empress all the confirmation that, that they need. Boom, somebody's about to lose their job or something. Five of pentacles. Yep, that's why he's so sensitive. You see, five of pentacles, king of cups. He's gonna be left out in the cold. He has a nasty spirit. He has a nasty spirit. Yeah, he's gonna lose his job. Ace of pentacles, that's work. Four of Cups is rejection. You want to cause other people loss, you're going to face that loss. Boom, that's justice. Let's move forward. Anything else? Nobody has time for this nonsense. Got to be happy for people or you'll never be happy for yourself. Queen of Pentacles, you have nothing. You have nothing to worry about. This Empress and Emperor have nothing to worry about. Everybody is secured. Everybody has their pentacles this man is very jealous of people who are successful and prosperous. Um, but everybody's secure. The Queen of Pentacles is security and stability. Yep. And you're going to, you and this Emperor Empress, y'all are going to continue to receive your blessings. The Six of Pentacles, let the blessing overflow. Look at the woman gifting to these two people. Wow. Wow. I know, you know, it's interesting. Let's let's stop and talk about these sorts of people. Okay? They don't like to see people prosper. They don't like to see people have good things. But yet they have a way, they're very attracted to successful people. And they'll linger around successful people to see how they can sabotage them. Four of Swords. They feel very embarrassed that they've been caught. They know their time, their time is up. Four of Swords is heavy contemplation, nervousness, and anxieties. Six of Swords is moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. Like they they were hoping that this would just skip the like, you know, sweep it under the rug or something. You know, they, this person has a problem with seeing other people prosper. But then if you if that's the case right i always say there's like two types of jealous people the ones that are jealous if you say they leave you alone okay those are the ones you don't have to worry about but the second type are the ones who are jealous of you but they they're attracted to you they keep on they want to be around you and they want to be close to you watching what you do knowing what you do keeping an eye on you they're monitoring you and they're looking for ways to sabotage or even steal, take, rob what you have. And sometimes stealing isn't necessarily them stealing from you. It could be them sabotaging you, sabotaging you to take what you have. Competing with you, get you out of the competition to take your spot. You got to be careful with that second type of jealousy. He has a way, he's very drawn to people. It's just envy. He wants the life of of others, like I saw you, you live in some sort of place where you have people assisting you to make life easier for you, right? 
um, or you have people providing some sort of service or serving you in some way. Oh, that's the life. I think we're pinpointing it here. And you should be aware of this kind of spirit because the more God makes you successful, the more he prospers you, these, you will, these sorts of people will want to encounter you, but it's only to sabotage you. They don't want to see you grow. Be aware of these, this kind of spirit. That's what it is. It's just envy. He wants a particular life or lifestyle. The magician. And he's been taking. He's been taking from this emperor and the empress in some way, shape, or form. I just saw that. I caught it from my left eye. Three of wands waiting. Or he was going to. He was just waiting for the opportunity to do it. They don't like you. They're jealous of you, but they want to be around you to take what you have. Simple. Be aware of these sorts of people. There's something here that he was plotting or planning with the magician. And he was just waiting for the right opportunity. Look at the two of pentacles. Gotta go. Two of Cups. These, this couple here, this mature man and mature woman they like you a lot. Like I'm wondering if you even know who these two people are because they know who you are. They see you as a privileged lady, privileged gentleman. They like you. It's something about you. Look, the star, wish fulfillment. You have their undivided attention. Like your, your star shines brighter than the other stars. You literally shine. Wherever you go, you stand out. The star, like, you're something. Like, you're, like, something about you is very special. Like, something here, um, you stand out in so many ways. Like, um, but anyways, you know what this is. This is you. You know what makes you special. And truly, these people, Two people, the mature man and mature woman, the emperor and the empress, they're doing something based off of you. There, there's something here where it's like the two of you are working together or the three of you are working together, but you don't even know it. Like whatever they missed, you, you're helping them see it. It's a partnership here. It's an unofficial partnership that the, the, you know, the three of you don't even know about. It's something that's naturally blooming or blossoming here. Look, judgment. You're helping these two people to see something that maybe, yeah, nine of wands. You're literally lifting the load off their shoulders. The Nine of Wands is in the reverse. Nine of Wands in the upright is wounded warrior. Nine of Wands in the reverse. Hmm. Look, Four of Wands, redemption. 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 It's like things have been things have been better, much better for them ever since you entered the picture. And I I think they see it too. They noticed it, is what I just heard. They noticed it. 
they noticed it. Eight of Wands, King of Pentacles. Oops. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Page of Cups. I think this is you, privileged lady, privileged gentleman. That's why you're showing up as the King of Pentacles. Last time you were the Queen of Pentacles. But um, I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. I think that's pretty much it. Let me see. Holy Spirit, is there anything else? This was a very eye-opening reading. No, there's not. You're ready to go. Nine of Wands. You're all ready to go. Nine of Wands is action. Yeah. And you're very secure. You have great security and stability. I think you're really ready to, uh, um, to accelerate. You're really ready to accelerate into your new beginning. Truly, yes. <laughs> Ace of Swords, of yes. Look, Wheel of Fortune. The table's turning in your favor. Because now you have seen everything that you needed to see in this particular chapter of your life, which is what has now prepared you for this new beginning. And I'm wishing you the very best, you guys. May you continue to elevate, grow, prosper, shine, illuminate. <laughs> illuminate so much that you end up illuminating others. That's what you've already been doing, by the way. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. If you're interested in connecting with me more, I'll put my information in the description box. I'll be doing same day readings um, this week. Let me see here. Today's Friday, no November 24th. So I'll be doing same day readings today and this whole weekend. Um, if you're interested, just uh, email me. I'll put all my info in the description box as well. Take care, everyone, and many blessings to you.